Love from Seoul? Are you still afraid of cooking Asian food at home? Really? For those of you, I brought this. One of the easiest and greatest Thai noodle dish. Simple ingredients, not many cooking steps, and it doesn't even need any complicated cooking techniques. So stop worrying and try it. And if you do, you may taste the best noodle dish that you ever had. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we are making pasiyu, one of the greatest Thai noodle dishes of all time. It is so popular and delicious, I'm pretty sure I don't even need to explain what it is. Plus, it's so quick and easy, so if you're willing to visit a local Asian market, I think you'll meet the best pasiyu that you ever had. So buckle up! For this, you will need beef, rice noodles, green onion, egg, garlic, chili pepper, and Chinese broccoli. For information, I've been looking forward to sharing this recipe, but I couldn't do it because of this Chinese broccoli. It was really hard for me to get this here in Korea, but who do you think I am? I finally found out one place and I turned on my camera. But if you can't find this, you can just use regular broccoli or even bok choy. Just use whatever you have in your fridge, that's the best. First, let's start off with the noodles. I brought a Thai brand today, just because I wanted to give it a little bit more authentic vibe. But don't worry about it, you don't have to use this particular one. Just make sure to grab big fat white noodles. That's it. For information, I don't even know this is famous or good quality. I just randomly grabbed one. And since there are so many types of noodles like dried, fresh, or even frozen noodles, I'm not gonna talk about how to cook them. So just cook the noodles according to the package instructions. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine without me. Next, garlic. Smash 4 cloves of garlic and finely mince it. Once that's done, chop some Chinese broccoli into nice bite-sized pieces. Here, the stem could be a little bit tough. So if it's too chunky, the leaves cook a lot faster than the stem. So cut the stem a little bit thinner than you do the leaves. Then you'll meet the perfectly cooked Chinese broccoli. This time, green onion. Normally, for pasiyu, you don't need this guy. But to sprinkle a little bit of iron here, I brought some. As always, finely chopped green onions will elevate the presentation. So give it a try. And then cut some beef into nice bite-sized pieces. Here, you don't have to use premium cut or something like that. So you can just use whatever cut you like or grab something which is on sale today. I think that will make you more happy. Also, you can do this with any kind of protein you like. Chicken, shrimp, tofu, or even no protein is completely fine. Now, let's marinate our beef. It's nothing fancy. Just put 1 tablespoon of cooking oil, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and give it a good massage. So simple, right? This time, for the pasty sauce, put half a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of fish sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, and 1 and a half tablespoons of black soy sauce. And then, last but not least, add half a tablespoon of this golden mountain sauce. Just like Tashida or Hondashi are magic powder in Korean or Japanese cuisine, this golden mountain sauce is gonna work like a magic sauce. So if you wanna make it like the one you had in Thailand or Thai restaurants, you should use this. What? You don't have it? Don't worry about it. You can just use regular soy sauce. Still gonna be good. And if you don't have this Thai black soy sauce, then you can just go for dark soy sauce, the one you already have. Of course, there's gonna be a little difference in taste. But don't worry about it, still gonna be good. Now let's make the chili vinegar. This is totally optional, but if you want that little bit of a kick and the tartness, please make some. You won't regret it. First, let's cut some chili. You don't have to use a spicy one. You can just use whatever you like. Of course, it would be more authentic if you could use Thai chilies, but look at me now. I don't have it either. So don't worry about it still gonna be good. And then drop it into a bowl of white vinegar, which is about 4 tablespoons, and let it sit for at least 15 minutes to release the flavor. Alright, everything is ready to go. Let's get cooking. Put 1 tablespoon of oil in a wok. 
and place it over medium high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add in your beef and cook it for 1 to 2 minutes. And when the beef is cooked, remove it from the pan and set it aside. Now, in the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil, throw in some garlic, and stir it for about 30 seconds. Here, don't cook it too long, otherwise you might get some burnt taste. Once it starts to get fragrant, increase the heat to high, add the Chinese broccoli, and let it cook for about 1 minute. The cooking time might be a little different, so just wait until the stems soften up a little bit. Now carefully add your noodles so they don't stick together. And then pour the sauce you made and stir everything together. At this point, some of the noodles are starting to stick on the bottom. But don't worry about it. That's gonna give us a wonderful, smoky chart flavor. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So to do that, I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds. Yes, just like searing a steak, we're gonna sear the noodles. And this is where all the magic happens. So I strongly recommend you give this a try. When time's up, give it a toast and let it sear one more time. Trust me, it's really hard to mess up if you do it this way. And once you taste it, it'll be unforgettable. Once you've got good color, push all your noodles to one side. After that, add some oil, crack two eggs, and just kind of scramble them a little bit. That's it! And then, when the eggs are 80% cooked, all you need to do is just stir fry it all together. Once everything is nice and evenly coated, add your cooked beef and toss it around for about 1 minute. Alright, it's done. Let's transfer it to a serving plate and finish it up with some white pepper and our love green onions. How does it look? It looks absolutely delicious, right? Alright, let's cut our taste tester. Claire? I love Thai food. Whenever we go to a Thai restaurant, we always like to get a bunch of food to share. And one of them should be a noodle dish. I never know what to order because every single noodle dish looks so good. But 9 out of 10, we always get this pasio because it's so delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm, smells awesome, looks awesome. Just give it a good mix. Nice and thick. Oh my gosh. You see the char? That's what I want. Ready? Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. It's so good. 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 It's 맛있는데? 이 면이 예술이네. 너무 맛있어. 난 면이 엄청 쫄깃쫄깃할 줄 알았는데 그것보단 조금 부드러운 쪽에 속하고 두껍고 넓어서 먹었을 때그 만족감이 두 배, 세배 되는 느낌이야. 음, 너무 맛있다. 음! 음! 이 차이니즈 브로콜리도 되게 아삭아삭하니 맛있다. 음! 음, 맛있어. 계속 먹게 되네. 음. This time, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of a chili vinegar. <laughs> 고추가 들어가가지고 너무 예뻐. 뿌려보자. Ready? 음, 음. 음. This is why I love Thai food. It's got a great balance. A little bit sweet, savory, and salty, and tangy. I love it. 무엇보다도 제일 좋은 건 식당에서 먹을 때랑은 다르게 비가 잔뜩 많이 있다는 거야. 나 같이 밑 러버한테는 This is like a dream. 이게 바로 홈 쿠킹의 묘미지. I love it. 파슈 <웃음> 다 먹었으니까 이제 파타이 가져와라. 파타이, 파타이 타임. 어디야? <웃음> Today, I showed you how to make pasiyu, one of the most popular Thai noodle dishes. Some of you might still think this is not easy. Yeah, it may look a little bit difficult or complicated because I talk too much. But once you try, you will realize how easy it is. The taste? Don't worry about it. Once you have a bite, that might be the best pasiyu that you ever had. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.